Hello guys! After watching this video, you will be able to introspect already existing database to update your Prisma schema and create and apply baseline migration. I am in Remix project. I have Prisma installed. However, I don't have any Prisma migrations or any Prisma models. I also have already existing database with some data in it. I have users and posts table. What I want to do is to bring Prisma in. Since Prisma uses model entity first migration pattern, I can just start creating migrations to further update my database schema during development. I have to first establish a baseline and create a migration up to the existing point in the database. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that. First, we need to create Prisma schema or models that mirror already existing database schema. You can do it by hand, but there is a better way to do it. We can just run command npx prisma db pool. This command introspected already existing database and uh, created the models right here. As you can see, some things are a bit different from what we prefer. So let's go ahead and update models to align with the conventions we use. Obviously, we don't want to make structural changes here, just the superficial ones. First, I would like to update the name of the models. I prefer to name my model with a capital letter and a singular, so it's going to be post. And the same for users. I'm going to call it user with a capital U instead of users. Next thing that we would like to do is to add add updated at to updated at column. So Prisma will take care of populating data in the updated at column. Next, let's go ahead and update relationships. So we'll name it post as a singular with a collection of posts. And then the same thing we're going to do to the users. I'm going to call it user. Now let's take a look at the indexes. We know that the user ID index will be created automatically because it's a foreign key. So we can technically delete it or you can just keep it. Uh, index on the title looks good. Finally, since we renamed the models, we actually want to keep the names of the table as posts and users. So let's add, add, add map and we call it posts. And then at add, add map, we're going to call it users. And let's go ahead and save the changes. Next, we need to create migrations folder and zero init in that folder in Prisma folder. This is where the baseline migration will go. So right here, let's click on Prisma folder. We're going to create migrations folder. And then in this folder, we'll put zero underscore in it. The zero underscore is important because Prisma applies migrations in alphabetical order. So migration starting with zero will be the first one. Now we can generate this initial migration with Prisma migrate diff command. Well, let's go ahead and put Prisma Migrate Diff next. We're going to go and put from empty next. We're going to put to schema data model Prisma schema Prisma. And finally, we want to create SQL script in Prisma Migration Zero Init folder. Well, let's go ahead and hit enter. And migration.sql file got created. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can also review this file and make some changes that are not supported by Prisma language. If the changes are significant, it can be easier to replace the entire migration file with a result of a database dump, like MySQL dump or a PG dump. Now we can run a command to mark this migration as applied. We're going to do npx Prisma migrate resolve dash dash applied zero in it. Now let's go to table plus. If we refresh, you can see that we have another table called Prisma Migrations and we have this applied migration zero in it. So we should be all good. Now in table plus, let's create another database to simulate a use case of developing locally. Let's go back to VS Code. We're going to click on that env file right here and we're going to update the connection to have it to remix Prisma Dev. Let's go ahead and save the changes. Now we can run baseline migration against our empty development database. What we're going to do is to run npm run migrate. And it looks like the migrations applied. So let's go ahead and switch again to table plus. We're going to click on the refresh and we're going to see Prisma migration table. We're going to see the posts table and users tables that are empty. And obviously 
when you do this, when you're baselining the database, you're going to make sure that the newly created uh, migrations in an empty database, they correspond with your already existing database that you baselined. This is how you can add Prisma ORM to your existing project and existing database. To learn how we created the existing database and NPM migration scripts, please check out this Prisma migrations video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.